Hey everyone, Lensman Oz and Dragonborn. Blah, 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 blah. Dragon learned here, but get it right, Dragon. Hello. <laughs> uh, episode 5 of Fullcraft. How's everyone doing today? Uh, what have we done in between episodes? We tried to upgrade the pack to the latest release, the 1.3.2, I think it was. Um, didn't work too badly on my end, but on the end of the kids, all of their packs had one heck of a memory leak, so their machines aren't anywhere near as good as mine. Um, fact of the matter is, you know, every time I upgrade something, the, the hand-me-down part goes to one of the kids, um, whichever one tends to need it the most at the time. And in this case, all their machines only have 8 gig of RAM. Now, I'm, I'm very lucky, I have 24. Um, so a, a small memory leak isn't too big of a deal for me, but um, it, in the newer version, like, so this, this pack now has a little bit of a memory leak. I've been playing for about, I don't know, about half an hour now, and I've already, it's already gone out of the amount of RAM it should have allocated for it, so I'm not sure what the problem is, and I'm not sure what the problem is in the new version of the pack, but um, long and short of it is, I tried doing the upgrade, which fixes a lot of bugs and adds a few bits and pieces. It does remove the um, mechanical users, but um, what we may do is just wait for the next upgrade, uh, otherwise we're going to have issues and not be able to record. Um, Let's see, what was I doing? Okay, so one thing I've I've started doing here is I made my hatchet and shovel into the Alamite version, so it has the global traveler um, trait. Now, it is possible to turn that trait on and off. Um, so thank you to the Loon 508 who reminded me of that fact and it literally that day I was on Iskul's um, discord and someone had posted it in there so I'm not sure whether that was related or not but um, yep there's definitely a way of turning it off and it involves going in here into controls and there's one down in plus tick you've got to assign a button to this it was um, conflicting with something so I've just assigned it to my semicolon button and then when you hover, have one of the tools and you have it in your hand, push semicolon and it'll pop up all the things that you can turn on and off. So I can now turn Global Traveller on and off at whim as needed. So if I'm out and about um, and we need to get a ton of wood for back here and I just sort of decide, well, I'm going to head off into this, into this forest over here and deforest a little bit, um, I can whip that over to Global Traveller and send it all straight back into the storage system. Same with the shovel. Um, really using a lot of a lot of hunger at the moment. Um, I have just logged back in after getting stuck in my bed. Um, so it's now filling my health bar back up. Uh, so what I want to do now is I just want to hit some obsidian. Oops, not that. And make a bunch of these. So I have enough modifiers on both tools. So this one has seven. This one has seven. So I'm going to get enough modifiers to make them unlimited. Let's see what I got in my loot bag real quick. Compressed gravel. Diamond nugget. Uh, right. So let's put these on the tools. And then what we'll do is perhaps work on a little bit of automation in terms of ore processing. I don't know if I can do this. Can I do that? Oh, you still got to put it in one at a time. Cool. So that's now unlimited durability axe, unlimited durability shovel. They're not the fastest things in the world, but with vein miner doesn't need to be the fastest but now I should be able to just go and literally decimate a forest and it'll come straight back here but while I'm back in base one of the things I need to get into the habit of doing is turning global traveler on and off right 
so I in in getting the other the server ready on the higher version I was testing it out and I have done it I had done a couple of things um, which I now have to redo so one of them was I made a draw controller one of these so I'm gonna need six of them two of them I'm gonna need some drawers no, don't want to make me some drawers. I not have any chests in here. Guess not. I'm going to make four of these. Just because I know I'm going to need a couple more of these in a second. So draw controller. Excellent. And I'm going to plop him down here. Because even though this thing was set up to remove dirt and all that, I, I did derp and I didn't run the pipe up the back here and into these other units. So these should be going up now. And that should now be pulling out stuff. Oops, wrong button. It should now be pulling stuff out of it again. I'm not sure where it's working. It'll get there. So, um, I don't know what I can do with these S. Can I, I wonder if I can put these into a... Um, Compacting drawer. That's that's something I wanted to consider whether it was worth running the the essence into a a compacting drawer, which is why I made the other um, the drawers. I wanted to give it a go because obviously we've got one thousand of it in here, and do we need one thousand? I don't no. know. No, you Probably don't. not, right? Not yet. Uh, draw control. No, I want that one. Cool. Let's just make one of these. Um, I don't really want to. Hmm. I'll place it. It's not what I wanted. I'll place it there for the moment. Let's grab some of this stuff. A little work. So it's not that bad an idea. So let's grab oh, some of this and really quickly. I'm going to add. Uh, need to add it to the filter and then connect it up with a, a slave here or something. Just, I'll leave it for the moment. I will automate that so it will pull them out of there as well. Just to, not that we're worried, worried about space at the moment, but you know anything's possible. Uh, so next thing I want to do, that's not what I want, is clear out a little bit of space. Um, these have to be coloured. Hopefully they'll work together. I don't know. Um, let's make an elevator here. And it will go down a bit. And I'll dig out some area down here. Hehe. <laughs> Leveled up my shovel. <laughs> uh, so... Let's just test that this works before I go too far down here. Can I? No, it's not going to work. Awesome. Guess the colour does matter. So let's jump back up. Can I reach you? And I don't have enough yellow wool. Fantastic. Um, how do I make it? Just yellow wool. There's no other way. Ah, there we go. So I need some yellow dye. Really? Question. Yes, what? How do I just get a grass block, not dirt? How do you get a grass block? You're going to need a uh, silk touch. Dang it. Alright, so this isn't this isn't gonna work the way I want it to unless you know what, let's just I'm going to take this white wool. People are probably going to get angry with me. Why? Nothing. Nothing at all. Oh, I used my other ender pearl. Well, that's it. The elevator's gone. Not making an elevator now. <laughs> I'm just going to be stuck with what I got. Unless an enderman turns up tonight, which potentially could happen. 
In other words, you're asking for it. I need an ender pearl. Come on, Enderman. Bring it on. Uh, let me just check this chest. Oh, look at that. I do have a couple in here. I need to make another white elevator. <laughs> then I'll make out this, this dig out this area. Uh, elevator. Awesome. Thank you. You can go away. And then dig him up and put these ones in their place. I didn't realise the colour mattered either. Wish these were doors. Kind of feeling a little unprotected down here at the moment. So I'm just going to put a quick cut in. I'm going to dig out an area down here and then we're going to need to get either power from there down or I think I had another furnace generator lying around in a chest somewhere. Uh, I'll get that set up and we'll semi-automate our processing. I know I had one somewhere. Oh, there's a compacting drawer. There's a furnace generator. So I'll do similar set up to what I've done there, put an export bus or something on it, um, just so I can have some power because that's powering that. I don't want to run out of power in my refined storage system. So give me just a couple of seconds and I'll uh, dig out a bit of a hole here, vein miner will help me, and we'll get some basic automation going. So be back in a tick. Okay, I'm back. Um, did a little bit, dug out a hole down here. Let's just jump down. Whoop. Um, yeah, the polished andesite isn't going to stay, but that's just what I have at the moment. Um, made some basic energy conduits. Got a furnace generator here. Um, need some more coal. Here we go. Let's grab a stack of coal. I'll just plop him in there for now so he can make some power while I'm getting the rest of the stuff prepared. So again, it's it's very basic. It's not meant to be permanent walls, for example. So I'll just light that area up a bit. Uh, and they, obviously you can see here where is the, uh, the mining cave, or one of the mining caves. Uh, so pulverizers here. I want to make a furnace. So I was making some copper gears. I make one of these redstone furnaces. We should have a bunch of stuff in here already that I can use. Oh, I'm out of glass. To make bits and pieces. Head on up here. I don't know if I've got any glass made up. I seem to always need glass. Never need, never seem to have it. Uh, you. Oh, no, I don't want that in there. I want that in there and that. Yep, sweet. Uh, so this stuff is not really needed now. Um, I did want to put the stuff up in here, and I probably still will eventually. I just need to um, work on power generation before I go and start doing that. Stuck in the door for a second there. I hear zombies. Is there here another one? See you somewhere. Where are you, buddy? Where are you? No, I can hear one. I'm falling to here. Anyway, there's one around here somewhere. Could be that one. Over here. No, that's a skelly. I can hear him. Hey, buddy. Like that. Uh, yeah, so glass is cooking up. I'll, um, I think dragons run off to the nether for a moment. You still in there? Yep, it's terrifying when you hear pygmy zombie. Don't hit, don't hit the zombie pygmy. I'm not, but you just hear the, you just continuously hear the, um, um, the, um, gas as well. Come on over to get this zombie. Take that, pal. Slime balls everywhere. Oi. Oh. He's a quick guy. There's skellies everywhere. Take that, pal. 
And it's cool to cool to chase some mobs in this because of the the loot drops. Because the loot bags are heavily buffed, and you could get anything in a loot bag. Um, we do need to take a run at a dungeon, and I have marked one on my map, which you can probably see over there. So we will, once we scale up a bit, go for a run at the dungeon because they are harder, but um, the loot is great and worth it. Especially the stuff on the on the bottom level. You got googly eyes, mate. Spiders are giant. Yeah, you heat heat scar spiders. They're terrifying. <laughs> I hope you wore what some armor. I'm wearing my obsidian. Oh, you'll be fine. Are the creepers friendly? Nope, 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 nope. The red ones? No. <laughs> Thank you. Are the creepers friendly? Sort of it was that. smiling. Well, there's a reason for that. He's trying to lull you into a false sense of security. So uh, the pigments see. are the only passive characters in here. Not really even passive. They just oh. grunt at you. Just don't hit one. I don't. I never. <laughs> not, All right. <laughs> I'm not suicidal. All right. Let's finish what I was making. This is silly. I'm um, making up some processes here. I need a couple of ex export buses. So let's make them export. Uh, I need two of these. One. Whoops. I shouldn't have thrown that in there, but that's fine. Two. Two. I want. I want two of these. Because reasons. Oop, furnace, and I didn't go and collect my glass. I'm very silly. Oh boy. Got a couple of bags here we can open up. Not sure if I'm going to get to doing the vacuum chest that I need to do for the farm yet. Let's grab this glass. Here's Zombie again. He's around somewhere. He'll turn up. Attack me while I'm doing something. Right, um, one of these. Don't have bricks. Don't have bricks. <laughs> clay. I've only got four clay too. Really? I'm shocked. Uh, let's make some more cable. Before I do that, let's make some more quartz. Quartz enriched iron. Um, yeah, just a few of them for now. I want at least one more lot of that. Um, let's really quickly look through these bags. An eye patch and a black lo black lotus. Uh, ooh. Polka dot bows, name tag mushroom with cookies, ghast here, oh, it's got another one, a sticky piston helmet, some prismarine crystals, a tier 1 mob chunk and a lead, I'm getting tons of good stuff from these bags, uh, but I do need some more clay, I need some more bricks, let's run up here, listen to the zombie grunting at me, could have sworn I had some more clay. Maybe up in my house. There's some clay. Do I have any bricks? Do I have bricks? No. 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 Anyway. Smelt up. What do I need? Eight. Eight of them. This probably needs some more food. Zombie needs killing. It's probably under the house now, Milo. Three. Uh, so yeah, the idea is obviously to export directly to the, uh, the machines. Uh, and push them straight out and back in. So I'm going to need another, I'm going to need an importer as well. Really? What are you doing, pal? I want to find this zombie. He's hiding in a wall. He's like literally there. Alright. 
that's them. Oh, yeah, I'm full in my smeltery. Awesome. One of them. And then I guess I'm going to need... Can I get away with an interface? It's even harder, actually. I should probably just make an importer. Need another one of those. Gold, another iron. Got iron, I need another gold. Probably need a couple more. One of them. You, one of them. I need to automate this. This is this is annoying. Um, you, you, two of them. The exporters, and I'll get one importer. I'm just going to do, as I said, very basic, in and out. Nothing flash. Or. Can't sort my inventory while the panel's open. Oh, jeez. One of them. So, or. Let's just grab some of each. Nickel, gold, copper. No, oh, that'll be. Let's get this last one. You cool importer. Excellent. Send down says. So again, we're going to go um, in on the top, out on the left. Stone furnace here. So he's already got power. He'll start getting power from this. So we had it running. Um, in. Maybe just out through the top for now. So we'll go exporter, exporter, importer, and then we need to run the cables down. I want to put a um, the automation for that right there, but it'll do for the moment like so in here we want I put the coal away iron silver nickel gold copper coal I'm gonna need to get some more coal at some point apparently I'm in hell that's what a uh, nether biome is I'm trying to oh, I found a fortress cool It'll come in no, here. Not cool. Why? Just because there's like with the skeletons and. I'm trying to find overgrown stuff, not a fortress. Oh well, you'll find what you need eventually. All right, so that's basic all doubling happening. That should get underway and and fix what we need. This is working as well as can be. I mean, obviously, this doesn't have the greatest amount of speed. We're not getting any bonus outputs or anything, but we can upgrade that with, with add-ons. Um, just a little bit mindful of time here. I'm not sure where I'm at. <laughs> it's part of the fun. 11. Uh, all right. Yep, yep, we've got a few more minutes. We should have enough time to just knock together a quick vacuum hopper. Hopefully, I've got what I need. Back. I may not. Vacuum chest requires pulsating crystal. Vacuum or absorption hopper, as they're called now. Uh, was an eye vendor hopper and some obsidian. I have one, so I could do either. I'm not sure what the range of a vacuum chest is. This will do. This one will do. XP as well, so let's do this one. Alright. Actually, I can't do this. Can you grab some blaze rods while you're there, please? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm 
looking for is a herb or another. I can have asked for all sorts of things. Don't worry about it. I'll make a vacuum chest instead. Uh, so I'm still going to need this and a piece of iron. And I need to run up here again. What I need is a teleporting wand. Get some of those um, teleport things and be able to jump around. Uh, you two in there. Zombies in a wall somewhere, I reckon. In here. Nope. Not in there. Anyway. Uh, I want this. Come on. And yep, that. And then we want diamond. That's easy. There's one outside. This. Around this. Also need crystal. Need a chest and some iron now. Chest. Get some iron. Let's go down here. Whee! Chest. Vacuum chest made. And then I will put some um, conduits of some description. Need some more enderpearls, obviously. We need to either uh, find some endermen or look into a mob farm. Again, I do want to check out the, the mod woot, uh, but I need to know how to use it first. So it's probably something I'll start playing with in between episodes. So I'm going to put this here for the moment. It's got a bit of a range. We can six as its range. So that's pretty much perfect. That's just outside Jay Morella's chicken farm here. Um, and that will suck everything into it. Oh, look, silver. Um, cool. That's going to clean up the area a bit and make it so that uh, we don't lose any drops because these still have these all have drops in them. So you can see here feathers and no, clay, lots of stuff. And that was just by me right clicking the the pen. You can see this one has two chicken eggs, thirteen feathers, twenty one manure, and another six eggs. This one's got manure and eggs, and this one's got log chicken eggs and bone meal and Feathers and bone white. Oof. Lots and lots of stuff. 16 oak wood. So you can see... The spiders are terrifying with googly eyes. Yeah, well, once you kill them, they turn into four too, so look out. Um, this vacuum chest should suck up everything that we need. Uh, or that drops on the ground, at least from these guys who are just floating around in here. The ones on the nests will only drop into the nests. So I've um, got a nether quartz chicken here. I don't know what they um, can breed with, but... That will uh, solve any server lag for the moment until Jay Morella can play again and work out what she's doing next. <gasps> enderpearls. Taking your enderpearls, Jay Morella. Right. So, I think I think we're pretty close to wrapping up. How are you going in there? Have you found what you need? No. Nope. And all this is is for a terrarium, right? Yep. No, 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 no. Oh. Did you die? No, I fell. I'm, I don't even have that much food. That's why I was going no. Time because to come Because I can't back. heal. Because I can't heal it back. Time to come back to the overworld. No, let me f keep going. You have to come to me. No. No. <laughs> no idea how far I've got in. Oh well, that's what waypoints are for. Alright, oh, I'm going to wrap up here. Um, hopefully next episode we'll be able to... I still don't know what we're going to do to automate these cows. And one of the things I did do in... when I did the upgrade of the server is I found some more cows. I went I went miles. I went like all the way out. And I came back with a bunch of cows and I'd filled up dragons uh, every pen in the place. And then I'd thrown another five or six in behind a house. Um, but I can't use them because they're gone. They're on the 132 version of the server, um, which is a bummer. So that was a bit of work that was wasted, but those are the things that happened. 
Um, as I said, it was okay for my machine connecting to the server, and it, it was a little bit, little bit laggy. Um, but it, this version has nowhere near the same memory leak as that newer version. So hopefully there'll be another version soon, uh, and things will be all hunky dory again. So I am going to wrap up here. Say goodbye, Dragon. Bye. And we'll catch us all next time. Comments in the section below. If you liked the video, hit that like button. And I hope you join us for the next bit of silliness in Fullcraft. Thanks for watching. See you later.